So like I love when I get to take a client into a home that has a basement. And the first thing is I do is I go to the unfinished portion and I show your web trust floor joists. Yes. There's a huge difference between using a web trust style floor joist. And for people that don't, don't know, it's like if you were ever in an attic, those trusses. And if you look at the way that the, the load dis dispersion goes, it's so much stronger, so much more expensive, but so much stronger versus using what a lot of builders use is these wood I-beams. It's a piece of plywood with a two by four or two by three on the other side. Those things, the joints can start to, the glue can start to break down and then you get squeaky floors. But the biggest thing is that when you have a solid wood I-beam and you have to run like a trunk for your HVAC through or you need to run plumbing or whatever, the only way of getting it from one side to the other is to cut a hole through it. When you have a web truss, there's openings all over so you don't touch the structural integrity at all, zero. You know, it's just you run your wires right through the opening. You run your plumbing or your your ductwork right through it. So that's what makes it when like I always tell someone when we're when we go into model like bounce, yeah, just bounce. Yeah. See, see 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 how you can feel the difference. Close the door. See how you feel the difference. That for me is where it's the stuff behind the drywall. Oh, yeah. Sure, you difference. definitely get what you pay for. Like, yeah, I like to say that to yeah. people. 